Well, hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Susan Timchak and I am a designer for Chalk Couture. And I thought it was time to show my face. But I'm not going to show it for long because I really am uncomfortable showing my face. Um, I don't know what what that's all about. I mean, I'm looking here, I really need a haircut. I think that's going to be on the agenda for tomorrow. But anyhow, I wanted to share with you my latest haul from Chuck Couture. As many of you know, I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And my recent venture is with a company called Chuck Couture, which we create some fabulous, fabulous things using chalk paste. We also have chalk ink and we have transfers that can be used over and over and over again on many, many different surfaces from wood to fabric to glass to ceramic to plastic to, I mean, anything you want it to go on. As long as it's a pretty smooth surface, um, the items that are glass and ceramic, you just have to stick in the oven and um, those items that are on fabric you just have to heat set them and they become a part of the fabric and it's just so much fun and I just want to share with you my latest haul so um, let's get to it shall we and then I could get the camera off myself all right hold on a sec let's flip you down all right that was a little painless right okay so um what I have first to share with you are these little um, packets here. Now I got four of them. These are our Chalkology Paste Wax. Okay, now these, this is wax that you use on surfaces that are not designed by Chalk Couture. And um, when you open this up, it reminds me of a chapstick. It smells I don't know, I kind of like the smell. <laughs> kind of like a varnishy thing. Anyhow, what you do with these is, say you get a chalkboard from a store or from, I don't know, Dollar Tree or wherever, or a surface that um, you want to be able to wash it off. You would use, let me cap this up, you would use this Chalkology Paste Wax and you would put it on the surface. Then you would take a cloth and kind of buff it lightly let it set for about, well no, put it on, let it set for about 30 minutes and um, buff it lightly and then put it aside the next day, come to it and give it a nice buff. And what happens with that is that then your surface is ready to accept our Chalkology, um, uh, uh, Chalkology, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, I just had a mental block, paste, hello. <laughs> So, yeah, I got a couple of these. I mean, now, anything that you do purchase through Chocotori, any of those services, unless otherwise stated, I believe they are all um, prepped and, and ready to go, so you wouldn't have to do that with it. Like, for instance, these. Um, let me get my scissors. And what is it with my dog? It's like, as soon as she, she hears me talking up here, she's down there barking at... I don't know what. I don't know. I just, I just don't know. Okay, so let me explain what these are. These are little chockable chips. There's 12 of them in here. Um, let's see what it says. It says three inches round coated chips specifically designed to use with chalk couture, chalkology paste, and chalk transfers. Select small designs under three inches in size. Um, from cut apart transfers for best results ideal for designer demonstration and for customers to learn the ease and fun of working with chalk couture products so um, they're just basically little discs and they, they have this real nice little paper in between and I got these um, because I would like to have a chalk night and in that chalk night what you're going to be doing is you are going to each receive one of these and I got some transfers and I have some others that we can use too but I got this new um, transfer sorry let me get this into the picture there we go oops sorry about the glare and um, aren't these fun these are like what is what's the one called um, where is it uh, Explore more is what that's called. It's down here in the corner. My old eyes are hard to see that and you would cut these apart and these are perfect to fit on these little discs. 
So on chalk night, you would come and I would give you your choice of paste color that I have available. And you can use one of these transfers and give um, Chalk Couture a try. I mean, you never know until you try it, right? The best part of the chalk paste is that if you don't like it, it wipes right off and you can try it again. So that's the reason for long explanation for these little discs is to have a chalk night. Now, if you live near my area or even if you don't and you want to travel, um, be sure to leave down in the comments that you would be interested in this. Um, if you would like to have a um, chalk to go, I also can provide that for you as well. I'm just waiting for um, some of my supplies to come from other companies um, so I can ship it off and make it a real pretty little package for you. So it's a way for you to give it a try and see if this is something that you would like. So this is one of my new transfers and I just think this is super cute. Look at the old Volkswagen van. And many of you from the 60s, which I was born in the 60s, um, I know, I'm, I'm an old lady. <laughs> but um, even those of you that aren't, everybody has a Volkswagen van memory of seeing somewhere. Uh, let's go explore, happy camper. This would be perfect for a mug outside adventure vibes oh yeah explore more and so the adventure begins wild and free is the way to be mm -hmm. let's get lost and um what does that one say well let's open it up and find out and the best part of these transfers is they can be used over and over again say yes to new adventures and who's not ready for that okay so yeah, this I think this will be a lot of fun, and it's kind of like a try it before you buy it thing. See what you think. Okay, so those are um, a few of the items. Let me put them aside. And um, again, the paste wax. Okay, here's another fun transfer. Don't quit your daydream. Everything is possible. And how many of you can relate to that? I think this would be so cute on a shirt. Um, on well just about anything but I'm just thinking on a shirt that would be great to remember not to quit your daydreams how about this one dream create inspire I think you know that'd be great on a tote bag or on a plaque or you know any of these things you can just use one of the words on here same as this you can just use um, any of these words don't quit your daydream and don't put anything else or you can just use this little sun with the little clouds I mean you can do anything you want with these okay here's another transfer and oh my goodness I am so excited about this one I have some towels that I want to try this on um, and it says chicken yeah kitchen's closed this heifers had it and I mean if you just wanted to use the little chicken or the cow I mean you could just just ink those up and don't use anything else and it's the other one says, wicked chickens <clears throat> lay deviled eggs. Isn't that cute? Can you just see, like, to have this in your kitchen? Um, even all coordinating products. You can even do, like, a little valance for your window and have these little, oh, I mean, there's just so much you could do with this. I just need to quit my day job and, and chalk all day. Now, this one I love. Live life in flip-flops. And look at these cute little flip-flops. I saw one of the other designers, um, what she did is she, it was had to be a lot of work, but she took a plaque and she used all these little flip-flops and she did them in all different colors and it was just a whole ton of little flip-flops. And um, let me take this out. And I just thought it was so super cute. Look at how cute they are. Just using the little flip-flops. But I love the saying, live life in flip-flops. And um, <clears throat> if you that, that know I have a problem with my one little um, second toe, I have one of those hammer toes. And um, I'm going to be having surgery on that uh, next month. So um, I can't wait because it's kind of painful and it's really ugly. And um, I, I just, every time I hear hammer toe, I keep thinking of hammer time. All right, totally different story. Anyhow, um, so I'm looking forward to actually having some time off and relaxing and having a reason why I have to. Don't we all need that? 
Now this transfer is so super large. I mean, I can't even get the whole thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's massive. I mean, here's my arms. My arms are all the way out. And I didn't realize that when I ordered it, but here it is. Uh, look at that. Hello. Hello plaid. Look, it fits the whole screen. Can you like not die with this? You could just, oh, I'm thinking so many fun things you could do. And you know what else I'm thinking? You know that chuck one that I showed you that I was doing? I'll have to show you that. Um, I thought, how fun would this be with like red and black plaid and have that truck over the top of it? I just think that'd be so fun. And you could do spring colors and summer colors and plaids are like all year round. So that was huge. And then this one, this is another one. And here on the back, they tell you exactly how to um, take care of your transfers and how to chalk and everything, but it's super simple. This one's called Farmer's Market. Oh, I'm sorry, what was this one called? Plaid, probably. Where am I at? I'm upside down. Buffalo plaid. Okay. All right. So this one is called Farmer's Market. And wait, where do you see this one? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, okay, we'll have to look at it piece by piece. Historic Downtown Farmer's Market. And look at that big rooster. Every weekend since 1926. Can you even see this? Farm Fresh Produce. But I'm thinking I'm going to have to, like, cut this apart. And... How fabulous would that rooster be on a plaque in your kitchen, along with your plaid and your other ones that I showed you before? And I really didn't think that this was so massive, but <laughs> I'm sorry to be so excited. But I mean, I'm just seeing all different color paste put on here and kind of blend it together, you know, to kind of give you the red, the yellows, the... Well, I'm going to have to look up roosters and see. I mean, they're little... um whatever you call those little waddle things and their little thing up there and their eyebrow, eyebrow and, and their little um, feet. I mean, their feet. Look at the feet. I'm not into um, rooster or chicken feet, but those are kind of nasty feet. And I mean, I think my toes are bad. This guy is going to need a pedicure pretty soon. All right. Um, oh, wait. Let me. I just wanted to share with you. Hold on a sec. I wanted to share, um, if you follow me, um, or if you don't, go ahead and follow me. Um, this was the truck that I had the other day. It was a truck in progress. And I added the little dog, and I added the little love, and um, put little uh, footprints. I'm not sure if you can see little paw prints. And I did um, put a clear spray on this. But how stinking cute is that? Look at this little wood plank. And I did use the um, chalk paste on this before I um, went ahead and chalked it up. But... How cute is that? I mean, can't you see this hanging in your kitchen? Or um, Father's Day is coming. How cute would that be? Look at the cute little dog. You can make this dog any color you want. And I just think that that's a super fun gift. And I'm not really sure um, what I'm going to do with it or who I'm going to give it to yet. But uh, I kind of keep hoarding all these things I'm making because I love every single one of them. And I don't want to get rid of any of them. But yeah, so that is my haul for today, including my rooster, my buffalo plaid, and let's not forget summer with living your life in flip-flops. And if it's up to me, I will live in flip-flops all year round. However, I live in Northeast Pennsylvania. Not a good idea when the snow falls. All right, everyone, head on over to stampandsuecreates.chocouture.com if you're interested in making a purchase of any of these or if you're interested in having a chalk night and you're in my area, let me know. Let's set something up. I mean, some days are rainy days and hot days and let's stay inside, be cool and chalk it up and just have a good old time. All right, everyone, thanks so much for joining me. And I want to thank you for being a subscriber or new subscriber or a returning subscriber. Hit that little bell where you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And, um, yeah, everybody, chalk on, right? All right, see you all back here real soon. Bye for now.